Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Endless Space 2. I've, uh, before we go into it, <clears throat> found a little glimmer of hope that I wanted to share before we continue on, because it does affect how I'm going to make my tech choices from now on. So there's a tech here in uh, Cultural Invertix, Invertix, and it's called Autonomous Administration, which gives you a plus one system that can be occupied before triggering additional K cost to uh, transform outposts. Now, it's not clear as usual with the text in this game. I mean, that is kind of legendary by now, especially if you play through all the endless games and the space and endless legend. They do have interesting ways to formulate things. Let's put it like that. Um, but in my understanding, this would mean we get an additional slot here. Current number of colonized systems and the maximum over which you will begin to get an increased minimum K cost to transform an outpost into a colony. Wow, that is also an interesting way. Which is, again, an, a different way of expressing the same thing that this tech says. So, <laughs> you gotta admire them for that. If I understand that correctly, we get plus one for each system we build it on which would allow us to go way beyond our uh, expectations, which would actually allow me to have a domination victory, um, which means owning, I think, 28 systems, or oh, supremacy, sorry. No, where is it? Conquest, there we go. Uh, currently we own five, and we should own 28 systems, which with that would be kind of doable if we... Um, if we take systems off of our enemies' hands, if we don't colonize them by ourselves. Because if we do that, we have to build them up to where we can afford a 2200 for the industry building. So yeah, I'm gonna try this. Even though it might fail spectacularly, I might be wrong here. But uh, I will try it. We'll also get this tech in here, because it's just fast. And we can colonize steeps. Because why not? Um... Yeah, so for that to happen, we need level 4 upgrades in our systems, and for level 4 upgrades, we need to unlock this here, which means we need three techs from the industry department. Now, there's a couple obvious ones, like the two resources, um, the Quadrinus Capture, because we could use that. Microwave pipes. That is an interesting building. Anyway, and the Crust Engineering which uh, allows us to refine Orical 6 and uh, give some specialization that we don't need. And the third one, we'll see what we'll actually get here. 30% troops damage on Empire is actually an interesting one. We That is actually a pretty good one. We don't really need more dust, though we are getting into a region where it might be interesting. But uh, we'll, we'll see how it looks when we build up our system. So, I still want the movement bonus, though. Is it important now? Not that much. Let's test our theory. Let's go for this. Um, we'll leave the movement bonus in there so I don't forget it. Um... This here is actually pretty damn good. Optimized logistics is pretty sweet. Um, we'll go for the crust engineering too. Just like so. And then I'll put in the optimized logistics. Ah, come on, let me drag it. Okay. Uh, and then after that, we'll get the cultural inverticks. Right here somewhere. Okay, we'll see how we how we do with that. So that is that. Um, other than adjusting our tech a little bit, I think we are good to take a turn. Was there anything I forgot? No, we're still repairing the fleet. Yeah, I think we'll just start taking turns. I also got to get to playing Humankind this weekend. I just got to buy the game. I don't really own it yet. Um, but I think I'll buy it because I do have a holiday now. And while there's lots to do, that got 
postponed. I think I'll get into Humankind a bit. Because yeah, there is a week until the 28th where you can play it. That's pretty much a week. So, machine bacteria. Well, that sounds friendly. Um, investigate curiosities. The first one gets the cleaver. That's a nice Sopranos reference, if anyone ever saw that series. Um, and we get some resources that we don't need so much. Traces of the photobombers. Well... For now, though, I don't really... I won't care much about it. Let's just uh, get on with what we're doing. Mm -hmm. What else can we get here? There's really nothing we need. A little less cost on the fleet. Why not? Why not? Okay, we got some idle fleets. <coughs> It's okay, they can idle here. Um, let's see, if we take all of these and repair them. Yeah, so that was 2,000, like one turn is gonna save us 2,000 dust. Uh, but we don't really need to need to rush that. Hello there, sunshine. Uh, yeah, let's just shoot those out of existence. There we go, we should have a hero here, but... And apparently this was a pretty fair fight. Even though it it really wasn't. It wasn't at all. Okay, that's our home defense system here. Let's bring it home then. A couple of people here and Gatria finished building. But we can now build a couple additional... Ooh, what the hell is this? Okay, I think that's all the quest pirates here. So let's uh, let's get them all. There we go. Point two. We could only fight once, so I'm assuming they will attack us there. Hopefully, anyway. Uh, here's a couple food supplies. Oh, okay, that's interesting. I, I didn't know that. I thought just when you finish a colony, the food supplies would just not get sent. But apparently they just finished sending, so at some point we'll have a little food boost on Atlas, which, uh, you yeah, know, is always welcome. I don't mind that. Don't mind that. I still didn't read up what these guardians mean, but yeah. Why? That's weird. Regarding the system, like, why is that? Anyway. Okay, so I think it's about time we declare on the cravers um, once our carrier fleet is in range yeah they got a pretty decent army there um yeah on it before we go into that let's actually upgrade our ground troops because we got plenty of um adamantium and antimatter so, adamantien, sorry, not adamantium. So let's just upgrade that. And let's also upgrade the infantry, because we have those resources in abundance. No need not to do it, even though we have 0%. But always a good feeling to spend some cash, right? Okay, so we'll have 50% extra damage against infantry troops, which shall... Uh, we don't have that stuff, right? Yeah, we'll need five more... Or Kialkelix Wicks. But uh, that should actually make our ground invasion a lot stronger here. So let us go ahead and do that. Because they only have infantry. Uh, we'll blitz them. I'm still not sure which one is. Yeah, there's a major... Uh, major victory, but of course we cannot finish it in one turn. Of course it has to be... And the next turn and we'll cast something the way of the obsidian eagle so we can make use of the extra K we'll get next turn good um, I kind of forgot a bit what our quests was okay we got the cooperative quests that we don't really care much preserve the Academy 
Send a level 10 hero. Yeah, that's the one I should take on to Galtor, right? That was here. Where do we have a level 10 hero, though? You should be close. Oh, not really. And I don't want to move cubed. Yeah, so we'll just wait a couple turns. It's fine. We'll just uh, shoot some probes. So we stay informed on what's happening here. And uh, find some cravers to fight. And also we got a couple carriers here. Um, yeah, we'll join you guys up there. Okay, Gatria is finished doing that. And now we can go with the Dark Matter Institute. 13 turns is quite a bit, but it's also quite a bit of output. Uh, 50 per system level, so that's a cool 150. I think. Um, yep, and then... An additional 10 per anomaly, which we have, well, two of anyway. Anything else we want to build here? Not really. Might want to look into the trade company. Oh, that's a unique improvement. Okay, never mind. We'll get the trade company then, because I saw we have uh, space for two more. So one's going to be on our new colony and the other one I'll build here and the other one should have been built a long time ago. So for that we'll just go building a couple ships here um, and we'll build the unique improvement I think on Surma because we have one, two, three, four anomalies here. I think that's the system with the most anomalies. Yeah, we have one here. Actually, if we take a look at Atlas, how many we have here? One, a bad one, two. Yeah, no, we still can't compete with that. So, Surma it is, and Surma is going to build the Dark Matter Institute. Mm, now let's first finish the military stuff until we've drawn down our manpower and then we can go on with civil buildings. I think that makes makes a lot of sense. Okay. Good. Let's uh, go on. Bring down these planets. Because it's already a lot of work to uh, conquer all the systems. So nothing gained from waiting too long. I really hope that works out uh, okay, so they like us now for whatever reason. And we'll blitz out these guys, hopefully this time successfully. There we go, got a couple K, some resources. Very nice. And then we can also fight for additional K by shooting these guys out of this guy. Thank you very much. Though it's not worth a lot of K because, yeah, that was a pretty easy fight. Uh, actually, we do have some anomalies that we could discover for them, like two, and that will make them like us a little bit more. And we gain a couple more manpower, but yeah. We could assimilate them, but as you guys know, we have a bit of a problem with owning too many systems. So we'll just go on moving there with our 13 movement points. And I really hope this connects. It should, I mean, by all... There's one system here. Yeah, it should connect. I mean, I don't know where this is leading here, this star lane, this one here. But if it does connect, then in two turns or so we can begin the the offensive against the Cravers. And we'll just uh, in, in close the Riftborn in the hopes that they won't do anything stupid. But even if they do, we have a decent production speed here. And we got a couple ships at home that are ready to defend if the Riftborn were ever to try take advantage of that situation, which, if they got any smarts, they should. But, uh, yeah, you never know. Okay, more penetration is more better. And can now fight some... What are you guys? 
107, 121. I think that we can take that even with our... Yeah, we can take that even with our crashing ships here. Uh, that was... Yeah, as all ships seem to have, that is all kinetic damage, so... Gain some K here. And we'll gain some... Actually, we can just send the ships here, because it, it does mean preserve the academy is the quest, right? So we can just send the guy here. And there we go. Fight off the pirates at the source and gain some experience, so that he's level 10. And uh, we get to do the, the quest. Okay. But, of course, we only made it halfway to level 10. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, what can we do? We can shoot some probes. The quest is... No, it's nothing to do. Quest conditions are not met to start this expedition. Okay. So that is the that is the one. We should start the expedition and then we can. So let's just shoot the probe somewhere. It's gonna regenerate anyway. Okay, you guys are actually we can find out what this is. Oh, nice. Some extra signs. I'll take that. Got a pirate stronghold, plus three, plus... Yeah, that would be nice if that planet had more than one colonization slot. With just the one, it's a little bit... A little bit useless. Okay, let's move the ships. And you are also not really a threat. These guys do like us a bit as well. Quite a bit, actually. How's that? Hmm. Whatever. <clears throat> Don't really need to get into that. Now uh, we could, by the way, do we have... Uh, the trade company. I don't think it's going to be worth it. Eight grand to spend on there. But it is going to be worth it to spend two grand here, I think. Just to get stuff built faster here. Because I do need the system. I do want it to be viable. So. Um, what we'll do with the Valkyries. Probably. We're going to send them toward the Cravers. And uh, switch out a couple. Like I think we need dedicated invasion and fighting fleets. I think that would be the way to go. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll find out. For starters, we'll just try and shoot everything out of the sky that the Cravers have, so we can move with a sense of peace and calm, and then after that, we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. What was that? Weird. Anyway, so yeah, you guys, please let me know in the comments if you're interested in some humankind uh, content from me. I think I'll definitely do the... Nope. We are the last survivor of an entire universe. We must do whatever. Yeah, you can do whatever. That's fine by me. I already said that. Just try and declare war. See how it works out for you. And that one got level 8. But we're gonna go with the 40% damage. I mean, that's just too ridiculous not to do. Where was I? Yeah, humankind content. Uh, I'm definitely gonna get the game and uh, do that one week. Unless something unforeseen happens, which I don't think. Yeah, we'll get for the science for now, so I can keep my rant going and don't have to think too much. Uh, but it's gonna be released in April next year. So after that, I'll have a chance to do to make it a regular thing on the channel. But I mean, after I upload it, we, you can also just uh, post your comments on the on the videos themselves. Obviously, I'm just uh, I'm just curious if you're actually looking forward to that, or is there enough content on the on the interwebs already? What are you? Oops, 
see. Yeah, we'll need our. Mm, actually, we'll retreat. Uh, we need to combine with the Valkyries. I don't want to fight a military behemoth just yet. We'll uh, combine here. Thank you very much. Okay, so now let's see. These are 12. So we need to get rid of some of the invasion power. Like so. That's at 27 now. You gotta love it. I mean, you really gotta love it. Okay. So we'll merge these together, and now we have a fleet that could take him on. Um, but we only have two more movement points, so we'll just protect the system here and uh, do it next turn. So we can move in there in one swift move. Really don't get why I always have to. Let's sell this crappy ship. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, why I can't do this? System Citadel is guarding the... Oh, that's the reason. Okay. Well... Yeah, we'll, we'll move out here anyway soon. But yeah, okay, that makes that makes sense. We can't guard a node that has a Citadel on it. Good to know. Should have read that tooltip a little earlier, huh? <laughs> that could have saved me a couple dumb questions. What is this? Okay, they completely switched up to beam damage and beam defenses, so they're clearly answering... Well, not that clearly. I was about to say they're clearly answering our threat, but... I mean, one ship isn't gonna cut it. Though it's a start, it definitely is a start. We definitely wanna shoot those guys down before they get any stronger. Okay, yep, they do connect. Awesome. So we can now move over here. Though... Let's first scout for one turn. And we have zero movement points, so we'll just skip a turn here. And next turn we do that. We do the honors. You guys defend here. Um, actually, I like my fleet. Mobile, so we'll... 12... We'll get actually 12 and 12 works. We'll create these. No, it doesn't work. You were one point short. Yeah, I forgot. Keep forgetting how they awesomely always give you plus three if you do the. Yeah. Like so we'll split you guys out and then we'll merge these armies. And that should be an impossible object for most of our enemies. And we'll have the invasion fleet somewhere ready where we could um, recruit it if necessary. We got another two Valkyries available here and a Beamer available here. So that fleet actually could go on. I think we'll bring the Beamer up there. Oops. That's a misclick. We'll bring the Beamer up here these guys up here as well and then they could meet up somewhere up here and probably form an attack force that goes for the vaulters and even though they have a strong beam defense now good luck against 12,000 damage uh, not damage but attack power um, do we want that point one Not really. I think we'll keep building, keep building those Valkyries, um, and we'll find the target for the war banners. Not quite now, but how far are we? Uh, halfway level nine. We need a couple fights with him. Hmm. Not sure where I can pick those though. But yeah, probably once we declare on the Cravers, we'll have plenty of opportunities to fight. Because they should have a pretty big army. 
gamma absorption that will allow us to get quadrinics which we already no we don't have anywhere no, we aren't to be trusted yes 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 whatever um no we don't have that anywhere we could have it but level 19 okay that's pretty sick actually so we got all the fleet commander abilities here that matter we don't really need any here okay we'll get this one just in case because now he is really ready to be assigned to a fleet um, if we really need an additional fleet okay so now we got 11 out of 11 movement points here we got our army ready here let's move it over there and let's hope where's that okay I'll bring the invasion fleet actually as well let's see what is this here okay the military behemoth was here which does suck a little bit but we'll catch him next turn it's okay Little obviously and they're gonna complain as usual whatever it's just the way the cookie crumbles um, 4000 okay I think in a couple turns we can repair that one invasion ship the rest is all attack ships I think we have to station them here um, but it's kind of annoying that that behemoth got through I was hoping that it was gonna stay here on decky but obviously it didn't so we'll have to do that move back and forth once again it's okay though I mean we can let's merge these guys and bring them up here actually that's Yeah, that's a fleet that Apistis could command. I think it's enough if we have two heroes attacking the uh, the Cravers. So we could really move him. Okay, let's uh, let's do it before we end the episode, right? Yeah, we're almost there. Actually, let's do it next episode because there's a bit of looking around I have to do. Maybe we'll wait one or two more turns. So uh, let's let's do a cut in here, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I can get my chinos treated actually because that's <laughs> being annoying me the whole episode. I hope you guys didn't, uh, yeah, didn't feel that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you around for the next episode.